Hey everybody, Casey Transformed here again, and yes, I know it's not Friday, but I feel like I haven't been getting these reviews out fast enough, so here we go. Today I have Transformers Generations Legends Class Cosmos with Payload. As you can see, oh, really dusty, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, alright. So as you can see, he's quite a small little figure. Here he is next to the Legend Scrapnel, and next to the little mini reflector. And here they both are next to the new Combiner Worms Prime. As you can see, he's pretty small, especially Payload. Um, I actually went over both of them with panel with a, a Gundam marker to get all this panel lining, and it looks really good with it. It actually kind of helps us hide this transformation joints if you put all the lines with a, over all the lines with a black Gundam marker. They don't stand the um, transformation joints don't stand out as bad. But we're gonna start with payload. So you see, he's a little rocket ship or shuttle. He looks really cool. It's got a nice Autobot symbol there. And you look under, and it's basically just the robot mode, just there. I mean, it really is just the robot. I mean, for everybody who's complaining about the aerial bots, yeah, robot right there. And he really did need all this panel lining. I mean, he he kind of had the same problem as the leader jet fire, where he was just blank white with all this cool detail, but you really couldn't see any of, any of it. So he looks really good, too, with the panel lining. Lots of little details to be found. And then we have Cosmos, who... Has a similar thing. He looks really cool. He's got all these little details. Yep, that's basically the only spot where you'll see you into his robot mode is from the bottom of, the sh of his little UFO mode. He's kind of an improvement over the uh, G1 and the even the um, Universe Legends class because he has more of these little fin things. He has a fin back tail, fin back here, and now he has like little, I guess, fin wings. It kind of lets you know which way the front of the um, space shuttle is, some arrows to help, and even a little cockpit as well as some guns. So yeah, he looks really cool. <sighs> he looks really cool. He's got a lot of nice paint on him to help the little details stick out. His guns, I love the little gunmetal gray on them, but as, if you, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this, but it's chipping off and wait, showing the green underneath. I'm guessing it's from Payload because you can take Payload, actually plug Cosmos' front guns into Payload's exhaustion, I guess you would call, and actually have him like docking. Which it looks really cool, but I'm afraid it's what's causing the paint to wear off on his guns. So that's a little disappointing. But it does make for a really cool look when you have them like this. Especially if you get a little display stand and just have them both flying like this. It can be really cool. And it's a bit more unique than, you know, say Scrapnel who just has, you know, the camera plugging in on top of them. But there are there is an alternate way to com to have these two combine. As, you, as most of you know, the little minifigures now have a weapon mode. What we're going to do for the weapon mode is just pull this yellow piece down for the handle. Bring the arms back. Flip the wings out of the way. And push this back. Now, nor, now for unlike most of the others, it didn't appear at first that um, Cosmos could combine with his uh, minifigure in, robot, in, in his gun mode. But this part right here, this little hole right there where the crotch folds into, fits this peg for the gun perfectly. It is really, really tight and you might start causing the vehicle to fall apart. But if you just line it up and oh, not have the hand and I dropped the cosmos, great. But if you can just line it up, get just right, slide in, then of course fix the vehicle where it started popping apart. And there you go. You actually have a quadruple barreled UFO, you really would not want one of these invading your, you know, planet. And what's really cool is it kind of even works as a stand because you can now have Cosmos kind of just floating and he's using payload as a stand. And because of the wings are, you can even tip it down and have it kind of displayed like this, which is really cool. I actually really like how this looks. And of course, if you want to, you could turn this around and kind of have it as a display stand and make Cosmos look like he's flying up. Still, he has a, it is away from the command of his weapon mode that we really didn't see originally. And it can even work as a display stand, so that's really cool. Just get him back in a little... So overall, yeah, he's a really cool little UFO. I love all the details, I love the paint on him. 
I'm a bit worried because his head and his guns are both have some pretty bad paint chipping right now. Well, not pretty bad, but it's gonna it could get worse in the future, which is what I'm worried about. But overall, it's really cool. Now for transformation, we're gonna start with payload. Take this flap, just like he did with his gun mode, but that's it. There he's in robot mode, and he does not stand easily, but there we go. He was feet weren't all the way down. Now for Cosmos, you're gonna just kinda of break the front here up. It's gonna split here, here, and here. And you're gonna turn them to where you're gonna get this. You're gonna want the guns pointing downward. Because these are gonna become his legs. And actually unfold them like this. As you can see, it comes out on a hinge. Folds like that, right there. Kinda of holds it, doesn't really lock in, but it does hold in place right there. And as you can see, I did more panel lining on his legs. Then you're going to split this, and how you're going to do that is you're going to lift this part back, and that'll let you split these open for his arms. This whole crotch piece will fold down into that little what was used against the gun port, and you can straighten his legs out. Swivel this around for his chest. Bring his arms down. Fold this down. And then just pull up the head. This is the part that kind of scares me because uh, you really do feel like you're forcing it in and out of there when you're transforming him. I'm kind of tempted just when I put him in his vehicle mode just to keep his head out because as you can see, he does have a little bit of red chipping right there and on the back of his head. So that does worry me quite a bit, especially since his head when it's pushed down is a little bit loose in there so he could be banging around in there. But there he is in robot mode. For size comparison, here he is next to Combiner Wars Prime. Doesn't even come up. Oh, no, he just barely comes up to the knee. He's a bit taller than Bumble Bumblebee. And, oh, one second. Let me grab Scrapnel here. Yeah. Just transform Scrapnel real quick, who also got a bit of panel lining. Oh, let me move the legs back. There. Alright, there's Scrapnel. And yeah, he's a bit taller than Scrapnel too. Not the antenna, but the head, he is taller than the Scrapnel, I believe. And here's Reflector. And Payload, I believe, is actually taller than Reflector at the head. Just slightly. He's certainly better looking than Reflector. I'm sorry, but Reflector looks like crap next to Payload. At least like, Payload's just a lot more defined of a body, a lot bulkier. Well, just, well Reflector kind of looks like he was just sculpted into a camera. Like, that's pretty much what he is. Anyway, let's get them out of there. Because we're focusing on Payload and, and uh, Payload and Cosmos. Ah, I cannot talk today, can I? Well, as you say, Payload has a very similar color scheme. He's got the red, blue, and yellow. And some white and gunmetal gray for the chest. His only articulation is, well, his arms. That's all they do, but honestly, these were kind of a reference to the old MicroMaster Transformers. So I really don't mind that they're pretty simple. So there he is. He looks great. I really do recommend taking a, pen, a, a Gundam marker or, and just going all or a Gundam pen, I guess, just going all over him. It does help a lot. Same for Cosmos. As you can see, a lot of these details were really blotted out before from the how the yellow and green come off. But with the pen, it just looks so good now. He looks so detailed. Let's go start with the head. A lot of people complain about how he has like a very helmet. You know, mask look, but I think it works really well considering he's, you know, he's basically an astronaut. I mean, he kind of needs go goggles and his ma mouth covered. And I think it looks really good for a head sculpt. A bit generic, but it's definitely recognizable as Cosmos. As you can see, he has like the G1 shoulders. I mean, this is like the most, this really does look like an update of the G1 toy. I mean, compared to say like the Universe toy, which kind of just looked like a UFO unfolded. Or the, um, what's it called? The Eye Gear toy, which again has a, had a similar look, just with yellow instead of green. To the Universe toy. I really like how this one pulled it off. It, he's formed from a disc, but he doesn't look like it. I and mean, even here, he doesn't look flat enough to be a, a UFO. Which is what I really like about him. He pulls off the, the whole UFO thing without being really flat. He has a really bulky look for it. Nice all about symbol in the shoulder. Nice details all throughout the chest. Even a little bit of, I guess you'd call that silver. He, of course, can shoot from the knee. 
which can work for some poses. You can get a pose like this going, just shooting from both legs. His head swivels. He has a hinge here and a ball joint in the shoulder itself. He has a hinge going back and a ball joint at the elbow. Swivel at the waist from transformation. Ball joint at the leg. And a ball joint here, but you really can't use it too much except for certain poses. So it's really meant for a knee, but you do get like a triple. You get a triple knee. You got a joint here, a joint here, and then there hinge there. So he actually has a triple knee, which is really interesting. Also means you can do the Pete Townsend thing, you know, just kind of like... Alright, let's see. Can we do it? Can we do it? Come on. Optimus, you were made for this. Your tight joints were made for this. Woo! Eh, it almost worked. Sorry about that. Just had to give it ridiculous there. But yeah, there he is Cosmos, and he's really cool looking. Now, the back, get back to weapon mode. Again, fold down handle, move arms back, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And you get a really nice little double-barreled shotgun kind of look. I love how this moves out of the way, give it more of a gun barrel look, and you even have like a scope sculpted right here on, on, on the back of his wings. And he's honestly the best looking weapon mini bot that we've seen so far. I mean, as much as I like Reflector being, you know, Scrapnel's G1 gun, he doesn't look that good. But Payload looks fantastic with Cosmos. It gives him a really nice blaster just to, well, kill Scrapnel. There. Always gotta have somebody shoot. Hell, kill Optimus. Bastard. Anyway. So yeah, he's fully loaded, got a shotgun, got legs at uh, got guns at the legs, not legs on the guns, jeez, I'm losing my mind today. And he just looks really good with it all. I love displaying him in either mode. My only real complaint I think with this mode is the paint chipping, and I really don't like how his arms on payload are just kinda hanging there. But you can just kinda have those come down with the handle just like that, if it bugs you that much. Personally I just kinda leave it at the back. So yeah, not many complaints with this. The paint chip, um, you could probably just put a coat over it and it might stay, or you could even fix the paint yourself if you prefer. It's really not that bad. It's not really that noticeable unless you start looking at them really closely. From far away on a shelf, you really don't notice it. So, do I recommend picking picking them up? Absolutely. If you can find them for $10, $10, he is definitely worth it. $15, maybe. But definitely worth $10. Anyway, I'm Casey Transform. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you get this figure. And I'll see you guys next time.